What's up, Word Nerds? It's Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. Welcome to Alphabento. My name's Lawrence. I'm going to solve today's New York Times crossword. We've got one by Victor Barocas or Barocas today. Um, if you want to follow along, you'll see the clues I'm looking at right up here, highlighted in blue above the grid and also in the list on the right. Um, let's just let's just go. Runs recreationally. Runs recreationally. Interesting. Um, jogs, I guess, maybe? Sharp punch would be a jab, yeah. Uh, the exclamation point key mate would be one. Scramming. Getting out of here or something like that. Getting along. Getting, not getting along. Getting a move on. Something like that, maybe. What is this? From the top, a new. Exchange, a swap. Software prototype is beta. Yeah, it's going to be like getting. Does pranks with rolls, TPs. Yeah, getting something. Okay. Greta Garbo by birth is... Uh, Greta Garbo is... Where's Greta Garbo from? Pursue romantically woo? She's like Swedish or something? Swede? Hor Horatian creation, probably an ode. Uh, nail polish brand. Oh, it's the one I always forget. Opie? I want to say OPI. Opie. Absorbed gradually. Absorbed gradually. Hmm. Saffron flavored dishes. Dishes. Oceanfront District of Los Angeles. Um, Oceanfront District is what? I feel like I should know that. Big name in brushes. Oof, man, don't know that. Front page mergers and acquisitions, for example. Big, big tech news, big... Uh, or big biz big yeah I don't know uh, skateboarding jump is an ollie I know that one at least difficult unfun chore a slog maybe Negro League's great satchel satchel Props for presentations. Slides, maybe? And we've got three L's here, so definitely one of those is wrong. Spring forward or fall back letters. Spring forward or fall back letters. Daylight savings time, DST maybe? Getting getting lost. Okay, slides is wrong. Easels? Maybe? You can do a presentation with an easel. Paella. Uh, Osmost. Ah, yes, of course. Um, San... Hmm... Satchel Page, I think, is the name there. Mega front page mergers and acquisitions, for example. Mega. Probably sweet. Mega deals. Mega deals. There we go. San Pedro. Uh, oh, Oral B toothbrushes. Neckwear that smells nice is a lay. Some spreads for toast informally. Spreads for toast. Hmm. Considering the fact that since investment guide calculation, I don't know. Most reptilian in a way. Don't know that either. Let's go up to the top. And just start filling in this area here. 
some hotel room amenities. Bank fly. Organization promoting canine care. Uh, is it like American Dental Association or something like that, maybe? Spleen. Enigma variations. Lifted. Man. Fulfill mundane but necessary responsibilities in modern lingo. Toreador song for one. Sift through. Maybe sort through. What is 18? Vessels with large containers. <laughs> Connecticut Ivy Leaguer. Actor, comedian, Little Blank, Howery. I don't know any of these things. Skyline feature in farm country. A silo. Bissor, ache. Pepin, le bref, par exemple. No idea who that is. Troublesome sort, an imp. Muscles tightened by planking in brief abs. Uh, that's an aria then. Comb through. There we go. Vessels. Uh, so this would be cargo ships, maybe? Oh. I, I ignored the circles uh, before, but we had egad and then lie. This is gosh, and maybe lie again. Oh, is this a yaley? Spleen. A sack fly. This might be ADA for American Dental Association. Some hotel room amenities. Elgar. Oh, safes. Spleen. Fury? Oh, adult, yes. It is Fury. Uh, lifted is stolen. Ooh, man, that's a good clue for stolen. Goodness gracious. Manhattan neighborhood next to Soho. No. Yeah, I don't know Manhattan neighborhoods very well. Taking item, uh, talking item in Dora the Explorer's backpack. I've never seen Dora the Explorer. Uh, Gray-ish. Ashy? Hawaiian Island shaped like an apostrophe. Beauty pageant founded in 1959 as a male in photo contest. This is going to be like Miss America? Probably. It fits. One who doesn't have a prayer. An atheist? Could be. Alternatives to street parking. Oh, maybe a map? Alternative street parking of pay lots, maybe? I think Ashy was indeed correct. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know what that neighborhood is. Photographer Ansel Adams. Investment guide calculation. Uh, oh. Uh, maybe it's Miss Teen USA. Because this, I think, is probably going to be a ratio of some kind. Maybe drat? Band ratio? Bend ratio? Band ratio? It'll dawn on you, day. <laughs> uh, most reptilian. Scaliest? Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know what that is. Setting for many Gan Van Gogh works. Arl, London Eye, Trinity members, the Sun, 
home of Denison University. No idea. Only murders in the building. Error is Hulu. Buzzing or in a different sense, buzzed. Lit. Do a wedding task informally. Ush. Anka carrying goddess Isis. This must be Ohio and Oath. Yes. Okay. Um, communal knowledge. Communal knowledge. Hmm. Upstart. Electrical unit with a Greek letter symbol. Ohm? Is Ohm a Greek letter symbol? I don't think it is. Thundering. Maybe a roar. Worker with a trowel. Food part that's usually not eaten. The rind. Bell Atlantic merger partner of 2000. Repeated word in the U.S. Postal Creed. Nor. Um, Longtime J. Silverheels role. I have no idea who that is. Uh, and then... commits perjury this is going to be lies under lies under oath so it's the word lie is appearing under different oaths gosh right lies under gosh lies under egad lies under drat this will be lie again then um maybe ely weasel tierra del fuego i think exclamation point Inside a yellow triangle, for one, is a danger sign. Dang overlie. Very good. Along those times, ages, communal knowledge is lore. Upstart. Hmm. Work with a trowel. G T E G. Oh yes, Tonto probably. Oh, a short U is the beginning of up. Sorry, and it was Ohm, I guess. And I don't know. I'm just gonna have to guess L. No. Uh, no. S K H M. Uh-huh. All right, let's just go through the alphabet then, go through the keyboard. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, none of those were it, so that means something else is incorrect. Uh, which is my... Tonto, short U. Did I mistype something somewhere? Lifted, stolen. Silo, misteen USA. Atheist. Oh, it could be this. Holy. Oh boy. Base sense day band ratio. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to um, take a minute to look at this, and I'll come back when I've got it done. There it is. I got it. Uh, obviously, not too long after I just said I would cut away, I figured out that um, it was bond ratio. I, I looked at the clue one more time here, investment guide, and just... Once I was like settled down and like took a second to think about it, I was like, oh, obviously it's got to be bond ratio. I don't know what that is, but it makes sense for an investment thing. Okay. 
And then I just tried letters again up here until I come, came across L. Uh, Lanai, I guess, is a, a, an island. Did not know that. And then Nolita. I don't know if I've ever heard of Nolita for uh, a Manhattan neighborhood. That's a new one to me, I think. Um, but uh, I did like this puzzle. It had some really cool clues in it. I did like the, like, there's a, a variety of things, like this was just like very broad, um, kind of like misdirecting kind of clue like this with lifted for stolen. Like lifted could be so many different things and stolen is definitely not the first thing that comes to mind when you see the word lifted by itself, but like it totally means the same thing and that's very good. Um, I like this like factoid here about Miss Teen USA. I, I do like clues like that that are just like, hey, I'm just going to teach you a bit of trivia. It was a mail-in photo contest originally. Like that's that's kind of interesting right there. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff all around. Um, the theme... You know what? I, I like this theme, actually. It's not great in the sense that um, it is using the word lie four times throughout the grid. And, uh, like, generally, the more elegant puzzles will try to avoid having, like, repeated sequences of letters. Um, you know, they'll, they'll try to make everything as unique as possible. Um, and so here, like, by design, this has uh, the word lie repeated four times. Actually, five times if you include the revealer. Um, so that isn't, you know, the most elegant thing in, in terms of a theme. But I do think it, it works very well for this particular idea, right? Lies under oath, um, using the word under as a... Um, you know, actual locational preposition instead of, um, you know, the more, uh, what would you call this, metaphorical uh, meaning that it has in the original phrase. But very good. Uh, I like it. It's a good theme. This is a pretty good puzzle. This is right on the money for a Wednesday level of difficulty, too. Like, not to tear your hair out um, difficult, but, like, challenging enough to make you go through it slowly. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't have much more to say about it than that. But other, but I, it, it's just made me happy today. It was a good, good day. I hope you all enjoyed it, too. Um, if you uh, have not already and you like the video, you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and come back tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow to solve Thursday's puzzle as well. And I do hope to uh, have you join me for that and, and say hello in the comments as well. And I hope you have a great day as always. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow for Thursday's puzzle. But until then, that was puzzle. See ya.